morning, everybody, and happy, <laughs> I don't know what day it is. Happy new vlog day. That's what day it is. I think it's, babe, what the heck? Oh, it's a Monday. Wow, that was a terrible intro. Let's just, just, just. <sighs> So today, Larry and I are just having like a chill day at home, but we do need to run out really quick because we need to pick up a few things over at Target today. I made a list on my phone. I want to get a Swiffer wet jet. We need to get some letter thingies um, because we have a board that you can like make words on and stuff. And then there's a couple other things I need to get and I don't remember. Um, and then I want to show you a couple of Amazon goodies. Well, two Amazon goodies that I've ordered that I'm obsessed with and I love. This one I need to show it to you over there because it's plugged into the wall. It literally arrived yesterday. And I'm already telling you guys about it because I'm that obsessed. In fact, I was going to tell you guys about it in an Instagram story. I'm going to set you here. I was literally in the middle of telling you guys about it in an Instagram story. And I was going to do a swipe up link for you guys to get it because it's that good and they're freaking sold out on Amazon. And that's probably because <laughs> Jacqueline Hill mentioned it. And that's why I got it. I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, I need that because I have migraines, neck tension and shoulder tension. So let me show you this bad boy because we need to name him number one or her. It's great. Here it is. This is what it looks like. It looks like a little backpack. You put it on your, your shoulders and it's, it's, I can't even, it's holy grail, it's amazing. You need it if you have shoulder neck tension, lower back tension, period cramps. You can also use it on your abdomen. You can use it on your calves, the back of your quads. Like you can use it, is the quads the front? I don't know. Anyways, you can use it anywhere, it's great. So, this is what it looks like. Put your arms through these straps and you can like pull it down and it gets tighter on your back. You can pull it out, you can drop it down, it just, it's incredible. I mean, I know it looks really funny. I was explaining this to mom and I was cracking up laughing. Larry thinks I'm insane, I know it, because I've been ranting and raving about it since yesterday. Okay, so this is how it works. And I can tell it's getting the knots because I'm getting like, I can feel the knot rolling on my shoulder every time this hits it. All right, so you hit the on button. Ha 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 ha, look at her go. <laughs> Do you see this? I'll come closer. And it is just so good. Oh, it's delightful. And if like you pull down on your arms and like pull the straps down, there's gonna be more pressure. If you just let it loose, it's a light pressure. And then you can like go down. But what I love about it is for when I get my migraines, I get this weird tension like in the base of my skull. I can literally pull this up all the way and massage my head. It's crazy. It also has different speeds on it. You can rotate the ball thingies, massagers. We're gonna rotate and it goes the other way. And it also has heat. So, yes, obsessed. You do plug it into the wall. It's by the brand Max Care. Got it on Amazon. I'll link it down below for you guys. Um, it might be sold out, but just keep checking the links. Hi, babe. Hi. And then my nails. A lot of you guys were asking about the gel nail polish kit that I had purchased a while ago. I mentioned it either on here or on Instagram. I'm not sure where I mentioned it. And a lot of you guys saw that I had my nails painted and wanted updates on that. It's incredible. 100% recommend it. It lasted, the gel polish lasted on my nails for one week. I know usually if you get gel nail polish, it lasts two weeks. 
but I went swimming in a chlorinated pool every single day for up to an hour all week last week and it still lasted one full week without chips or anything. In fact, actually, I started peeling it off myself because where I over painted, it was starting to pull up right there. But if I wasn't swimming in a chlorinated pool every day for over an hour soaking my nails in that, it would have lasted a full two weeks, possibly even more. It was that good. So let me show you guys that really quick. This is what it looks like. It's a UV LED nail lamp by the brand Beatles Gel Polish. And you just literally stick your hands through here. This is the polish that it comes with. The color that I used was 26. It's like a really pretty nude color. And I think the next time I do it, um, I want to use this gray color. And then these, this is really pink, which not really my cup of tea. I like the more nude colors. And then this is a purple glitter and a pink glitter. And then I bought this little ridge filer. And then it comes with like the top it off coats. And this is a matte one, which is really cool. And then the top it off for the top gel. This is a shiny topper. And then this is the base coat. So yeah, 100% recommend. Comes with all your tools that you need. I can officially say I love it. I recommend it. It works. So I will link it below. I want to test it before I just say, hey, this is really awesome. Even if I haven't tested it. No, not okay. So we must test before we recommend, and those two products are great. The other product is like an eyelash um, brush comb type thing. So when you put your mascara on, you just kind of like flick your lashes through it and it takes off the excess. That, not really 100% thrilled about. It's basic, it's okay, and I more so poke my eyelid with it than get my eyelashes. So, you know, it is what it is. Outfit of the day, we're rocking bun life. I have my Def Leopard t-shirt that I got from Target. This is the extra large, super oversized. I just have it tucked into leggings that are also from Target. My socks, and I need to put my shoes on. Pretty much ready to go, and I'm gonna use my Skechers. Those have become like my new favorite. It's a quite rainy day here in Florida. We actually have thunderstorms all week, finally, because we haven't been getting any rain at all. So that's quite nice. All right, I've got my shoes, I got everything. I'm gonna get a road coffee to go and then we will continue on our way. Let's go. Side note, I thought I'd let you guys know that I'm munching on walnuts. It's a great running out the store, running out the store, running out the door snack. Nuts. Mm -hmm. Not unsalted, raw. Walnuts. Pecans are my favorite. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One thing that I wanted to show you guys really quick because I had just made my coffee this morning and then I just made my to-go coffee is that creamer that I bought and some of you guys were asking if I tried it and I didn't yet until today and it's the, oh, I can't even hold it right. It's the silk almond milk clean, clean. It's the silk. <laughs> The Silk Almond Number One Almond. Oh my gosh, I cannot get it out. The Vanilla Silk America's Number One Almond Creamer. And it's good, I can actually say it's good. I've had almond milk creamers before in the past and they just, mm -mm, they didn't taste good. That tastes very nice. It's a plus. The only thing that's not a plus is it has sugar in it. But it's also almond milk, it's real. You're not drinking like an artificial creamer, so. You win some, you lose some when it comes to flavoring your coffee. If you can't handle it black, you gotta sweeten it somehow. Right, babe? I suppose. <laughs> so. I don't drink coffee. Yeah, so they had a caramel one. And then somebody had asked me today in the comments that they, they tried that one, didn't like it, and then they tried the Natural Bliss, I believe. That one gave me the most intense stomach ache I've ever had. Like, I was doubled over running to the bathroom after I had that cup of coffee. And, wow. and coffee does that to me anyways, but that creamer, I don't know. I think it's because it's made with real milk. Mm -mm. Stop number one will be the post office because Larry and I haven't been up here in a bit, so we need to check it. My, oh my, did you guys send a lot? Lots of stuff. A lot of mail. So thank you so much. I guess um, we'll be filming a P.O. box opening once we get home because whoo, it was long overdue. So thank you to everybody who sent letters and boxes. And oh my goodness, I'm so excited. 
Yeah, it's been a while since we've been here. They even asked us inside. We thought you guys left. I said, no, nope, we're still here. You're stuck with us. <laughs> we're at my favorite store. <laughs> Larry, when he said, do we need, can we go to Target for anything? Do we need to go for anything? And I was like, we can go whenever you want. He's like, I didn't think I'd have to twist your arm to go to Target. But yeah, that's really bad. Larry and I just passed a business that's near us that is like completely burned down, complete destruction. Really terrible, it happened at like 6 a.m. this morning. Anyways, let's head into Target. I might film a little bit in there. I don't know, it just depends on how many people and what's going on and whatnot, but let's head into Target, Target. I also want to get my deodorant. Girls just want to have fun in Target. Girls just want to have fun. Here are my shorts that I love. And if you get them, definitely go up a size. I had to go up two sizes in these shorts by the brand Wild Fable. Sounds good, doesn't it? I don't know if it's good. So we just found this movie here at Target. It's called The Good Liar. It sounds really good. Okay, so the male in the film sets his sights on the latest mark, recently widowed Betty Helen Mirren, which I love, who's worth millions, and he means to take it all, but as the two grow closer, what should have been another simple swindle becomes a high-stakes game of cat and mouse in this suspenseful drama about the secrets people keep and the lies they live. Ah! Let's look it up on IMDb and then see if we should uh, check it out. Also, Larry and I have been doing reading in bed, so we picked out these, and they clip onto your books, and there's a little light so you can see, because we can't ever see with our little night lights on. And then my favorite deodorant brand is Native Deodorant. I've been loving it, so I wanted to get a different scent, and I went with blackberry and green tea, which smells so good. And cucumber mint. I also got these earrings by the brand Sugar Fix. And they're like, these are actual earrings, the ones on the bottom, this pair, but the two up here are more of like, they clip on, you know? And then by the brand A New Day, I grabbed those gold hoops. 6.6. 6.6, that's not bad. That's Blu-ray. That's Blu-ray? Yeah. That's Blu-ray. Yeah. What are you talking about? I don't know. And then you wanna show them what you got, babe? Uh, Mr. Excitement. <laughs> I got a roll of tape and a dispenser. Huh. which I have one or two somewhere, I just don't know where. And uh, a sign with letters on it. Yep. That's it. We made it! Target shopping success. And then I got some of the Unstoppables. I got the fresh ones, which I'm excited to sniff. I wanted to try these on with you guys, just to show you how they work because I hope they actually stay. We'll see. So the point is, I have like three piercings. I have my, this one, this one, and my cartilage. And then you add these, which actually aren't real ones. They just kind of like clip on and it gives the effect that you have more piercings than you actually do. See? How cool is that? Cool. Cool. Do you like them? You can't really see them. Can't. Let me pull on this mirror so I can put on But I would play with it more. I see them. Because they're kind of overlapping. But yeah, that's how it works. Wow, look how red it made my ear already. Okay. Success. Now it is time to go home. We need to eat lunch. Are you hungry? Yeah. Two o'clock already? Oh, wow, it is. Oh, my. We need to get going. Oh, I'm trying to turn on the car. It's already on. What do we want for lunch? Chips. Okay, I'll have a turkey sandwich. Hi! Okay, Larry and I have just finished, am I even in focus? Larry and I have just finished a P.O. Box opening video. We had to split it because it was just getting very, very long. And so we split it into two. And now, and I'm just, just so excited. I mean, it always puts me in such a good mood opening letters and gifts that you guys sent is just so sweet so if you guys have not seen that video you should check it out because that went up first but i wanted to share actually i want to i want all oh, these things these things are great and i wanted to share them with you from target these make your laundry smell delicious i went with the scent 
fresh. Oh, which smells so good, like fresh laundry. And I currently have the lavender vanilla one, which I don't know if I would get again. I think, I, I don't know, not my favorite. Um, I did pop on a lipstick to go with the red in this, but I think I wanna take it off because I don't like it anymore. <laughs> Taking it off. This one was very naughty in the P.O. Box video on opening. On opening? Oh, P.O. Box opening video. She was very, very, very naughty. And this one was getting attacked and it was just a fun, not fun time. <sighs> oh my gosh. If you guys watched that, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you haven't watched that, then they were so naughty. You weren't, Luna. You were a good girl. Don't want to single out my children. But, <laughs> somebody. <laughs> Not you, Lexi. Not little Lexi. I know you guys love little Lexi as much as we do, so it's hard to be mad at her, discipline her, because... And by discipline, I literally mean just being like, nope. No. Nope. She can get so sassy. I need to shut that a little bit. So, I should have a video... Ow! <laughs> I should have a video... Never mind. Forget what I'm saying. Anyways, I need to come to the office because I need to start editing because I have a very, very, very busy week coming ahead and I don't think I'll have time really to edit. So I need to do it now and then we'll have dinner and then finish Game of Thrones. We are finishing the Game of Thrones series. I'm so sad. We had just watched um, one of the most intense episodes last night. I don't want to say which episode because I don't want to give it away. But if you've watched, you already know which episode I'm talking about. Season 8, halfway through, um, you know, just the Night King one, you know, the battle. It was incredible. Um, uh, I can say that without spoiling anything if you haven't seen Game of Thrones. If you haven't seen Game of Thrones, where and why have you not? It's quite violent, though, and kind of inappropriate, but it's so good. So, anyways, I'm gonna hop off for the moment. It is going on, oh my gosh, it's 4.30. I need to get to editing because this P.O. Box opening video is going to take me a long time to edit. They always take me a long time because they're like longer videos and there's a lot of like envelope tearing and box opening and I try not to put all that in there because then it gets, it gets really loud. Um, so I got to get started on this and I will check in with you guys when I am finished. Let you know how I got on with the edit and then we'll have dinner and watch some Game of Thrones. So what Larry what book did you get oh you should come over and show them your book Larry bought some books did one arrive or more than one I got uh, two books neither one of them smell neither one of them smell <laughs> that's good because I know sometimes your books are smelly uh, I've got two that were extremely bad that I'm having a difficult time trying to figure out oh this is a weird angle. So the one I am reading now, I am almost done. And that is the Struggles and Triumphs or 40 Years of Recollections of P.T. Barnum. Oh, your head's not in it. My head's not in it. No. Going down. Here I am. There you go. And this book... I think we've shown this once before. It was published in 1872. Yeah, you've shown it, but it's still really cool. And I'm almost almost done with this one. I love that book. Um, one of the two books that I got today was Last Dinner on the Titanic. This has original menus, authentic recipes, and illustrations and photos of life on the Titanic of the, what, three days that it was at sea? Can I see? Yeah. Let's just take a peek and see what was on one of the menus. Asparagus salad with champagne saffron vinaigrette. Roasted squib, squab, on squab. wilted cress, minted mm. green pea. Larry, I don't think you would have been able to eat anything. I would have. I would have eaten all these things. Here's a picture inside the book. I like it. Hi, Lexi. Hi, my Sam. 
Sassy. She named her Sassy. Oh, hi. Oh, a little diva. The creation of the Ford Empire, Henry and Edsel. Henry Ford being Henry Ford and Edsel being his son. An Epic Battle of Generations by Richard Bach. That is cool. I have been to both Henry and Edsel's home in Michigan. You have been to Edsel's home. Which one was that? Kind of like a um, castle. Edsel. And then we walked the grounds. It was oh, yeah, rain. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The Edsel car that came out in 1958 lasted until a limited run of 1960. Um, the 58s, I'm a big fan of those. Mm -hmm. 59s, they kind of cut it back a little bit, and by 60, they didn't even look like an Edsel. They looked like a regular 60 Ford. See, I don't know that much about but, the uh, older cars. I have a grill from a 58 Edsel, and I have the steering wheel with the push button transmission That's in your the deal. middle of the steering wheel. It's in the garage. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that. Um, I'll let you know about this later after I read it. Where did I put my coffee? Oh, it's right here. Okay. Got her coffee. It just, just tastes funny in this mug for some reason today. Okay, so it is now 7.30 and I literally basically kind of forgot that I was vlogging because I did an Instagram Live for the very first time since like March or April. And then I was on the phone with my brother and then I realized, holy crap, it's like 7.30. And while I was editing, Larry went outside and he was weeding and he's finishing that up He's gonna hop in the shower and we're gonna have dinner. So you guys on the live were asking what we're making for dinner and you want me to film more food vlogs. Dinner tonight for me, and yes, is gonna be separate because you guys know a lot of times Larry and I eat separate things. I made Larry his chili. Um, so we're having, it's a leftover night and Larry's chili consists of ground beef tomato sauce and like a sprinkle of chili seasoning. That's it. And then I have tacos. That's gonna be my leftover. So I have my taco meat here. I have my romaine. I like to use romaine lettuce with my tacos. We need sour cream, cheese, my onion. Where's my onion? Oh, and my half of an avocado. My cheddar cheese, my onion. And why am I even pulling all this out? Larry's still outside. <laughs> Anyways, that's what we're having for dinner. In the meantime, oh, and my wraps that I showed you guys in the last vlog, which are these, and they're really good, and tomatoes. Um, so Larry and I are gonna, I'm gonna go head to the bedroom, I'm gonna wash my face, take my makeup off, um, and then we're gonna finish Game of Thrones. Wow, the light is super blue. A lot of you guys on the Instagram live were asking if I have watched Hamilton and we have not. It's on Disney Plus and we need to do that as well. But first we're going to finish Game of Thrones, then we're going to watch Hamilton. So with that being said, now I am in the bathroom. I am going to wash my face um, and get ready for bed or cozy time. going to get ready for cozy time. So I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I love you guys so much and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.